Well, today, of course, is the 11th day uh, of the 11th month, and we are about to go off to the ceremony for Armistice Day, Poppy Day, call it what you will. What is interesting, of course, we fought two world wars for freedom. Freedom of the individual, I would argue, and a lot of men died for it. And we seem to have drifted in to a rather ghastly situation where the man from Whitehall or the man from here in ghastly Brussels seems to tell us what to do all the time. It makes me very angry. Particularly at the moment uh, going on is the plight of the independent financial advisor. Uh, and I'm very worried that they're being squeezed out by the big incompetent retail banks about the retail development plans backed by the Financial Services Authority of Mr. Mark Hoban at the Treasury. Now I've been wondering why Mr. Hoban has not only been pressing for retail banks to push out small independent advisors, which the new legislation is making happen, I'm also been surprised why he felt it so necessary to vilify small independent financial advisors, which he has done quite consistently. And somebody drew to my attention the other day that he had actually received, before he was elected, £150,000 from a company which specialises in advising retail banks and big corporations. Now, I'm not for one moment suggesting that there's anything untoward about this. He's declared it quite properly in his Declaration of Interests at Westminster. However, as his behaviour on this particular subject has been completely irrational, he has no experience of financial services and he is clearly not listening to anybody and now there has to be a debate in the Houses of Parliament about this very subject. I think we are all entitled to an explanation as to what he did for £150,000, which is a very considerable sum of money. Probably totally innocent, and I'm sure it is. But Mr Hoban, if you're out there listening, and that would be a first for you, wouldn't it, could you explain what you did for your £150,000, please?